Hi Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading. So let's see what's coming up for Cancer weekly up in the next week ahead. Cancer, okay, first card, the Four of Cups. Second card, the Three of Cups. And the Three of Swords. Okay, I feel like starting off with, with the Four of Cups, it's this energy of realizations um, and finally coming understanding, coming to understand a situation here. What's interesting is that it could very well be in regards to a lover's triangle or choosing between two different people, pain, deceit, um, or hurt. You know, in, in this Four of Cups, you can see that she looks to, she, she dabbles her hand in the water and she looks to the water with self-reflection. So I feel like some of you are reflecting on a painful situation here. Um, you're dwelling on this cancer. Now, I'm not sure if this is someone you were involved with for a very long time, if this was a business collaboration, if suddenly your new best friend has gained a new best friend, or this was someone that caused you some sort of pain because you weren't a priority to them, whether they had someone else around them with the three or whether their priorities uh, were elsewhere. I feel like you're reflecting on this. Um, it's it's quite a confronting energy. You, she can see her reflection, so it's it's quite confronting, like you're... you're you're really getting down into the nitty-gritty about it, Cancer. I feel like you're missing nothing here. Um, and you're dwelling on this because it's emotionally linked to you in some way. So I feel like it's either you're learning about a potential third party. So say, for example, if you're interested in someone that is an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, could be a water sign here, a fellow Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. It may be that you're learning that they're already coupled up. And then suddenly it makes you feel a little bit reflective. You know, you can see her and she's not feeling in the most happiest of spirits. Um, it makes her reassess her goals. It makes her think differently about herself. Sometimes it makes her second guess herself or him, if you're a him watching this. Um, if you're a he, sorry. So I feel like with the Four of Cups, this sort of energy is, you know, it's something has you a little bit run down here, Cancer. Are you learning new things this week? Because I feel like there's the Four of Cups rules illumination. It's also a bit of fantasy. I feel like, you know, it's quite whimsical. There's a bit of fantasy happening here. So I almost feel like you're picturing what could be. You're picturing what could be, but for some reason, for some of you, it, it can't work. I'm not sure if the three of you can be happy in this sort of situation here, Cancer. So I'm wondering why, what, what's happening between, for some of you, in between this matter. But look, I, I feel like it can be revolving around friendships as well. This is quite a social card, the Three of Cups. Uh, it's quite strong female energy. It doesn't have to be, but this can be very close friends, friends that are very nurturing, friends that are your support network or encouragement. Um, this is seen as a celebration though, so I'm not sure if you've got support here. Uh, people trying to lift your spirits here, Cancer, this could absolutely be the case. Someone's trying to make you, or many people are trying to make you feel better because of this, um, or you're trying to distract yourself for the most part. But it's it's not all bad. I mean, it's not the three, this levels triangles for, for everyone next week, and you know, everyone's going to be feeling this, absolutely not. Every situation is different. For some of you, I do see you celebrating here. This could be, you know, illumination and self-reflection. You know, even doing things for yourself, that um, doing nice things for yourself, for your mind, your body, your soul, yes. Because the Three of Cups can indicate celebration and toast. Um, so I'm not sure if you're honoring someone here, someone's idea, someone's success. I think this may come up sometime next week here for you. And it could very well, for those involved in like a business partnership and there's three of you or there's two significant friends or siblings that you have or you're trying to connect with, this just could be a week where the two of you feel somewhat supportive of each other uh, with the Three of Cups energy. But really, the Three of Swords in this, for those that do have a third party situation, it's painful. Do you really want to go there, Cancer? Because I feel for some of you, it's very raw or it's very real. I'm not sure if this was a backstabbing with friends, if something happened in a business setting, or perhaps this is a loved one that's, that's caused you a lot of pain. I don't know if because you're doing some serious life reflection, this person is from way back, from a very long time ago, and for some reason something reminds you of them or someone mentions them. It could be a friend. Someone mentions them. 
and then suddenly I feel like you're reliving the pain again. Um, and it's quite intense. You know, the Three of Swords. This could be the betrayal, the deceit, the hurt. It doesn't even have to be that someone deceived you. It can just even be that they said really mean things, spiteful things. Words run deep. They really do. And I think this has this has you in some sort of mood, potentially, in the upcoming week. But look, it can also be a card of conflict and not being sure which option to choose. You have the element of choice, yes, and I can see that maybe some reflection time, maybe some downtime is needed for you, Cancer, for you to give priority to certain things around you. Because I'm seeing with the Three of Swords, you're pained because of a decision you need to make that you keep reflecting on. So maybe you need to think a little bit longer. Maybe there still needs to be time. Maybe you still need to do your weighing up, your pros and cons, your reflection, whatever it needs to do. It's There's a lot of cups in these cards, so I feel like you need to go with your intuition and do not place any time limits on healing or reliving this. You know, if, if this is what you need to do, then that is absolutely what you need to do. So look, I will leave it at that. Um, I hope this has been an insightful reading. Again, it won't apply to everyone. But for some, I am seeing that people might want, you know, uh, it's hard because I feel like your attention is diverted on a lot of different things. You've got two threes and then the four. And these rule relationships and, and, and the self and things. So I feel like there's a lot of demand that's being placed on you during this, th this next week. So look, as I said, take it easy. Take as much time as you need. Um, consult with yourself, your soul, your, um, your higher consciousness, and, and you'll find a way to, to move on or to heal or to come up with an answer. So I will leave it at that, Cancer. I hope this has been insightful and hopefully uh, we'll chat soon. Thanks again.